I am recording the first parts of my video EEG hookup. I'm recording. Document this occurrence. This is the second time I've had to do a video EEG. 24 hour in home video EEG. It's hot with all this hair. Did they look at it? Oh, you know, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I have answers to that portion. The chat. Good thing I got a haircut. Hey, babe. What's this look like to you? With me getting these electrodes attached to my head. What's it look like? <laughs> you don't know? Do I look like I Frankenstein? Oh. Vinny, what do you think? What do you think, Vinny? Stuff doesn't smell as bad as it did last time. Yeah, I think, I think all we had was a fan on last, and it was still kind of cool outside. Now the air conditioning kind of really circulates it. Yeah. Strong. Yeah, that's a good thing. We had the window open last time. Yeah. Yeah, winter time is usually rough because the heater kind of intensifies the smell. Oh, uh, what am I doing in the winter? Kind of decreases the smell with the coldness. It's not so bad, Vinny. It's not so bad. He's being covered with a blanket, you cold, Vinny. Mary. What's going on with Mama? What you doing to my Mama? So Mama's going to look like she has an umbilical cord attached to her head. <laughs> Be like, what's going on, Mama? Can I play with it? Can can I chew it? Is it for me? Everything's for me, isn't it, Vinny? Everything's for Vinny. We're right here with my EEG electrodes. Yeah, he's all covered up now. Legally, I believe you're out of luck. I think you have to file within the two years. Equitably, everything she did. Hopefully, I won't have to do another one of these again. I hope that the video camera stays working and the computer stays working. See my eye drifts off to the side like that. that mm -hmm. I inherited that from my mother. Yeah. Oh, you mentioned that last time. Yeah, she had that same. Yeah. A couple of my cousins have that too. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. My mom had to have surgery on her eye. Mm -hmm. 
Hope I don't ever have to have surgery oh, on my yeah. eye. Yeah. You go to the optometrist, the eye doctor? No. No, not for that yet. I hate going to doctors. I've been to so many doctors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, uh, babe. What? Oh. I tell you, I've had surgery on my right ear, too. Yes. I'm trying to remember. Was it in the inner ear? On the outer part. It's a scar right here. It was called a preauricular cyst. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, we use that landmark to measure yep. for the electrode as well. Oh, yeah. That's something that I was born with. Mm -hmm. um, fairly rare, um, what you call it? Uh, birth defect. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's no reason why that that happens. Yeah. I'm glad to be rid of it. it. Took a long time to heal. Yeah. But now it seems to be healed. Hopefully, it doesn't burst open again on me. Yeah. No, we don't want that. Just keep an eye on it. As long as it doesn't change. Long, painful process. I'll be back in a minute when we're all done. It's done. Mm -hmm. Six forty blue uh, on the stickers. Oh, my favorite number. Oh boy. <laughs> Everyone's got their numbers, huh? Yeah, I really don't like sixes at all. And they pop up anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, I, I usually stay away from them. But when we got Vinny, he had three sixes in his number at the Winnebago Animal County. Really? Winnebago County Animal Shelter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. ID number. Yeah, there was quite a few sixes in there. Yeah. I don't know if I have a number I don't like. I know I have numbers I do like, like the number seven and three. Whenever those are around, I always. Really? Yeah. Like the odd number, like that. And it's weird because most people don't like odd numbers, but. Seven is God's number. Yeah? Mm hmm. Seven, seven, seven. Hey, that? And um, that? six 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 is oh, yeah, the I mark of the beast. Uh, yeah, I don't like I'm number six. I can see why people would not like it. Yeah, I don't like the number thirteen either. No, that yeah thirteen. I don't like that number, especially when I go into apartments and floors. Well, they don't do the number thirteen, but after the number twelve, number fourteen, it's technically the thirteenth floor. Yeah. We lived in a building like that. Mm -hmm. That uh, just had all the floors. That they put, but, you know, hey, better safe than sorry. Let's just do it that way. Yep. Yeah. And I have uh, my coworker. Um, they're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And they went to a hospital. And they had a psychiatric unit on the 13th floor. I'm like, Whoa. really? <laughs> like, why would you put that? Wow. Let's put them, um, you know. A different number for us. We used to live at Burrington Oaks. You know where that's at? Burlington Oaks. That's a familiar now. Out here in Rockford. Yeah. They only have 14 floors, but they skipped the 13th floor, but it's still there. Yes. A lot of bad things happened there when they had a 13th floor. Yeah. So when you get on the elevator, there's no 13. No, yeah, I know. Isn't it it's weird? really weird. It's like, hey, you it creeps me out. Here. That place is evil. I can show you YouTube videos. Are, uh, oh, actually, really? I don't even have it on YouTube. 
I have it on Facebook of Vinny barking at the kitchen. Oh, wow. He was barking like crazy. Yeah, I think animals, dogs, cats, they can sense things, you know? Yeah. Two people had died in that apartment that really? we lived in. Several people that we know died there. Yeah. I'm glad we didn't die there. Yeah. I knew we had to get out of there, though. Yeah, just just too much. Yeah. I was hearing noises there. You know, different noises. I hear noises here, too, but it's not so bad. Mm -hmm. yeah, some places are just a lot more powerful. Yeah, they are. Yeah, in my old house, I remember, I always felt like there was somebody in the house. And now we moved after Ernest's new house. We've been here for like 16 years now, and I've wow. never had issues like that. 16 years? Yeah. That's a little over half of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the full life of my dog almost. He's a 15 dog. Oh. Yeah. Little old guy. Yeah, his fur is starting to really turn white now. Um, before it was, he used to look like a puppy, you know, even though he was an older dog. But now I think it's catching up his hair. He's getting gray like mom, like me. <laughs> Aww. What's funny about Vinny is he looks like he's older. Mm -hmm. Than he really is, because he's got a white beard like his daddy. Yeah. And he's got some white on his chest and his, on his toes. Like a uh, dog that I used to have. Mm -hmm. She had some white on her toes. And what, what's funny about him is I think he knew Shadow. Because I asked him, Vinny, did you know Shadow? Mm -hmm. Did did you know Shadow Vinny? And he doesn't like really tilt his head when I say that. So I think that God sent him down from heaven. Honestly, my little angel. Yep. He was found in the middle of a field out here in Rockford. Yeah, and a police officer found him. I don't know why people would abandon an animal. So cool. I don't know how they could do it. Yeah. Uh, he was really, he was really skinny. Like, thank God he survived. Yeah. I'm not happy yeah. now, though. I'm pretty sure he's very grateful to be adopted. Yeah. Very grateful. Yeah, he was a very happy puppy. He jumped up in his daddy's lap the first day he met him. Mm hmm. Like you knew he was home. Huh? Well, actually, that's when we first went to go meet him at the shelter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we took him outside to their little dog room that they yeah. had there. Yeah. And uh, he jumped right up into his daddy's lap, and there was a pit bull that was out in the yard across from there, and the pit bull kept on. Um, peeing on his head or <laughs> trying to pee Aww. on him. I could be peeing That's on terrible. the fence. <laughs> he got him a couple of times, but after that, then he said, oh, no, you're not peeing on me no more. Yeah. I prayed every day that he would still be there. Yeah, I call every day too. At the end of the day, is he, is Vinny still there? Is Vinny still there? Is Vinny still there? Lo and behold, thank God he was there. Mm -hmm. So I knew that he had to be meant to be our puppy. There was a couple of people that were inquiring about him. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he's a handsome dog. Yeah, he sure is. People asked about um people asked about Vinny and uh they'd visit with him too mm -hmm. at the shelter and they'd ask if if they could hold him. They don't hold dogs there. Yeah. 
so I, I prayed that, you know. I don't pick them up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I actually saw this one guy. He just looked down at me, and I was watching him. And then he, he like, walked away. I was like, good, that's my puppy. That's my baby. <laughs> and there was this little boy. He said, oh, I want this dog, Mommy. And then the mama said, no, we're here to get a big dog. I was like, oh, well, that's good. That's good for me. I love my Vinny. My Vinny, Vinny. Yeah. You're my Vinny, Vinny Floyd. Yeah. He's waiting for Mama. Mama Mia's not playing with me. Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Actually, technology is getting so good that terabytes can fit in tiny little spaces. I should have those on phones and other things now. That would be nice. If I had that much space on my phone, I wouldn't have to keep on deleting pictures. So until we have more to go on, everything else is just speculation. I would say most of this is What part of the brain is this one monitor? This one kind of works on your cognitive thinking. So like, like how I'm speaking to you right now and explaining things, I'm using the front part of my brain. Um, so that's kind of, that's the one you need the most. Oh, okay. The last time I heard, Easy one, like, on the tongue, uh, the side by the ears, forces your audio, and on the back of the head is your vision. Oh. And then, we got, like, the smells and... Sensations that are kind of like in the middle, there's a strip, and they each little part, little we section is specific to what it runs on. It's so precise where it's at. That's super interesting. Good it's pretty complicated. <laughs> like when I mm -mm. go to school and do all that, oh man, I, it was rough. Do you think you could be a brain surgeon? Oh god, I don't think I have the stomach for it. Really? Yeah. I don't know how yeah. they did it. I don't know how. I'm glad they do it though. I'm glad someone can do it because there's. I don't know if there's any way I can do that as well. I was told that they're pretty weird guys. Yeah, it could be a little strange. I've only met a handful. Sometimes they're just too busy to even talk to you. Uh, the one I did meet in Chicago. He's really nice guy. He's really down to earth. I think he's like one of the nicest doctors I know. He's very caring. That's good to have a yeah. caring doctor. Yeah, it's pretty rare, you know. I'm not so sure about my surgeon, though. Yeah. I don't want to say nothing bad about him or anything, but but uh, I've seen a lot of reviews online that, that uh, he doesn't have no bedside manner. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If they don't have that, then, you know, it's a big part of being a doctor. Yeah. You gotta be understanding. I mean, these are people's lives in your hands. Yeah. So, respect both ways. And the one part that done? really upset me is that they didn't tell me that they were putting any titanium plates or screws in my head. Yeah. I had to ask. Like six months later. Oh wow, that's insane, though. Like he didn't even. The guy didn't even want to tell me about it. Yeah, you know, and then he shows me like a skull uh -huh. with with the little titanium plates. They're like shaped like little flowers, kind of mm -hmm. like daisies, and 
there's holes in each little part. So uh, I have four titanium plates and five screws each. Four holes in my head. Yep. I can't believe they didn't tell you. That's insane. Yeah. With this large dent in my head, it really hurts sometimes. What about in the winter and the cold? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, when it starts raining and things. It's just like a broken bone. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't imagine it hurts. Yeah, like people get knee replacements, hip replacements. Wintertime is the worst for them. Like, that's why we have all those senior citizens that live out in Arizona. I want to be able to pull that here. It's painful. I don't know how they do it out in Arizona. I wouldn't be able to live out oh, there. Oh, I have not like that. I mean, they say it's a dry heat on this <laughs> Yeah, that's what my friend says. It's a dry heat. Heat is heat to me. Yeah. <laughs> so he's like, what's going on? What's going on, Bubba? Nearly almost done. Yeah, just gonna wrap you up. Oh, yay. You said you have another technique. I'm sorry? You said you have another technique yeah, that this won't fall. Yeah, I'm just gonna this is different here. Is that, yeah. is that what you did before? Yeah, same way I did. Yeah, once I go ahead and put that cap on there, it's going to hold them in place temporarily. Because I just don't want to put, we never put glue on the forehead because that's kind of harsh. Oh. The forehead for the skin. And I don't, don't want to peel their skin on me. Right, that's good. Oh. <sighs> These electrodes are pretty painful to lay on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're definitely not the best seat you're going to get. That's for sure, unfortunately. Can, there, uh, can, can you get a good recording from that then? I mean, um, like if I'm not being able to sleep very good? Um, we'll still get a recording on there. Um, you know, we'll see, we'll still see the stage of the sleep when you do get it. Oh. It might be in and out, they might be a lot shorter. They kept waking me up last time. Yeah? It's like really hard for me to fall asleep. Sometimes I like... They wake you up. Yeah. It's hard for me to fall asleep, so... I have a lot of uh, insomnia problems. I hey, know, if they... If they This one feels loose. Which one? Feel like yeah, it's once moving. I get the the gauze on it, then it's gonna hold it in place. Oh. I'm gonna put a layer of tape on there. Oh. Okay. Thank you.
Can you tell that I have my arms up on there? Uh, no, we don't have any electrodes on your arms. It doesn't oh. really detect movement. Oh. Yeah, that would be a different test. They actually do make a type of EEG like that. Oh. Okay, you can go ahead and open your eyes. Okay. Like, uh, you have to go to different schooling to do that type of test, but um, my, my boss is um, certified in it so she can do it. Oh. And is that like only for people who have grand mal seizures? No, or it's actually like more for people with uh, muscular sclerosis, so MS. Oh, okay. So it's for different reasons. Um, if they do have seizures, we'll combine the tests, give them an EEG, but it's usually only in the office that we'll do that. So we'll put electrodes, some electrodes on your head, and then some on your body. This reminds me of after brain surgery. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. It was my right eye. It was um, half open. Yeah. I couldn't it's even see out of it. Yeah. It was really swollen, and my eyebrow was limp. I couldn't move it, so it was like. Down here. Mm hmm So absolutely terrible. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm happy that you are. And my left hand was in a fist and I couldn't open it. Mm -hmm. I kept waking up and going back to sleep. Waking up and going back to sleep. And I try to open my fist. I couldn't open it. Mm -hmm. Each time I wake up, I try to open up my fist, and I was able to open it eventually, but then it would close back up. Yeah. I went back to sleep, and then, you know, it still kept on closing up on me, so I had a lot of problems on my left side of my body. Mm -hmm. like I feel real limp. There's been a nerve or something they hit on there. Yeah. But it doesn't occur anymore, does it? No. No. Tightening of the fist. Not now that I'm on uh, Capra. Okay. And they had me on a lot of different medications to control mm -hmm. my seizures. It drove me nuts with all the medications. Yeah, I mean, nobody wants to be on all that medication. I kept my husband up all night sh shuffling around my medication. <laughs> I couldn't figure out which one yeah. I had to take at night. Yeah. You got a pill case now that you use? Or yeah. Yeah, I make sure I take my medications on time. Yeah, that's, that's important to do. Take yeah. time. I have alarms set on my phone. That's oh, what, that's good. Yeah. That's what a lot of people don't realize. They have to take their medication on time. There's a reason you have the medication. Mm -hmm. Once that, that dosage is disappearing out of your body, so if you don't take it on time, you're going to be at a moment without All right. proper dosage. Like my best friend, she, she doesn't take it on time all the time. Um, I try to let her know that she's supposed to take it yeah. right away, you know. And if you forget, then take it as soon as you remember. Yes, right away. Yeah. Looks like I got a helmet, babe. Ready to play football? So I'm only going to do this sock part up on this side, and then the wires I'm going to cover up separately so that way the weight doesn't pull too much because your hair is really thick. And it does tend to happen more when it's thicker hair. Oh. When it's thin hair, bald guys, it just stays in place. No problem. 
Well, I was going to shave my head, babe. Oh. <laughs> I wanted her to shave head. Oh. <laughs> I, I said I wanted a haircut like you. <laughs> They're going to be twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, what's up, sir? Oh, ma'am. Hi. Uh, sorry, ma'am. <laughs> Sort of why I didn't really want to have short hair, but well, doesn't matter what our people think. Well, can't really care what other people think because you know, it's you and you're your only person. This thing falls down too. This part? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The cap. What is that made of? Like rubber? It's material? It's like a. Spandexy material, not spandex. Uh, it's more like hypoallergenic plastic material. That's a good thing. Yeah. It shouldn't pull anymore because now you have no weight pulling down here. Yeah. So everything's going to stay up. Here. Okay, so what if this part like comes down? Like it, it I wake up and it'll go back. It'll go back. No, I have this to like part? which pull this it. white part or both? Both of them? Yeah, because last time when I had it on, I just left it uh, left the whole tail on there. Oh yeah. So the weight was kind of pulling on. Then my hair starts coming out on the sides. Yeah, if that happens. I mean, you can just kind of pull forward a little bit. Um, it's really no big deal. Sometimes, like, with kids or if they're, like, you know, on the last few hours of their EEG, I'll let them know they could take off the head wrap. But if it's only a child and it's not moving around, I'm just in a bed, I'll, I'll say you can do that. But most of the time, you know, if it peels back, it's not really going to hurt the EEG. It's just kind of inconvenient a little bit. Oh. Okay. Ah, oh, you're going to tape it up more, huh? <laughs> I don't have to feel like I have an umbilical cord then attached to my head. It's a little different. <laughs> you can see my hair back here. That looks funny. <laughs> hey, I got a new hairstyle, babe. You want my hairstyle, babe? That's a lot better. Yeah, feels a lot better? Yeah, I don't have to feel like I have an umbilical cord attached to me. But uh, what about protecting the wires? That's what I'm going to do next, right here. Oh, okay. All the way down? Mm-hmm. These guys, it's going to be a lot lighter, so it won't pull on anything. But it'll keep all the wires out of the way. And I'll go ahead and tape right here. Make that connection. All right. I got a special hairstyle today. Yeah. Still sort of like an umbilical cord. Yeah. <laughs> Still got the cord there. Yeah. For the women, you guys should have like a little pretty purse. Pretty. <laughs> yeah. Let's say we gotta get like pink gauze or some colors, you know. I'm just plain all white. It's too medical looking. Yeah, I could get married again like this, baby. You want to get married again? Like this? Can I have my hair like this when we get married again? Ooh. That's not going to come off of there, right? Now I'm going to tape around it to make sure everything stays in place. And then that bottom part... I'm going to put that same material that I put on top of your head just to make sure everything stays nice and safe. Oh, okay. I'm really grateful that you're here. You just. Hi! Umbilical head here! Huh? It's umbilical head here! How you doing, y'all? How you doing? 
or any uh, electrical stuff near it. This is what I have to deal with until 7 in the morning. 7.30. You gonna cut off the pawpaw? Cut off the pawpaw, Vini? Yeah? Oh, you want to cut off to mama? <laughs> uh, let's see what's there. No. Floyd loves you. I know my baby too. Aww. I'm in love to Vinny Floyd. He's the littlest Floyd in the whole world. <laughs> he is. <laughs> yes, he is. He's just the cutest papa in the whole wide world. Yeah. Yes. He's sleepy now that he had a little dinner. Yeah, he had his little dinner up. He's a little dinner now. This is bedtime. He's sleepy. Yeah, this is bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go to bed, Mama. Yeah, he got to go to bed tonight, early tonight. Yeah, I, just wanna, I just want to play all day. No, he got to go to bed early tonight. Yeah. Hmm. When I go to bed, Papa, are you going to bed? You going to bed early tonight with the camera, Grandma? You going to bed early tonight with the camera? I'll get to bed as soon as I can. I'm talking about, are you going to go to bed early? I'm going to try. No matter what time I go to bed, I still have to be up at 7.30 so I can get these electrodes off my head. Yeah, I didn't think you should go to bed early, though. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you got that camera, baby. You got to keep dragging that camera in the bedroom and stuff. Yeah, unfortunately, but... Yeah, you can stay up all night tomorrow night. Yeah, right. I ain't no baby. Just because I got an uh, umbilical cord... Attached to my head don't mean I'm no baby. See, baby. I ain't attached to you. You're my baby. Mm-mm. Uh, you're my baby. Mine, your belly? Yep, you're mine. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, all right. He's like, all right, I'm just chilling. I'm just a Vinny here. Oh, yeah. Wow. What is it, Vinny? What is it? What is it? Huh? 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyone out there who's had brain surgery, tell me your story. Make a video, tell me about, about what you had to go through to have surgery. I had my surgery on uh, September 4th, 2012, and I was in the hospital for 14 days. I don't want to be in the hospital that long anymore. And my story about my surgery is on my Facebook page, and I'll link it below. And, um...